Hi everybody, welcome to the Tycon Turbo Review. We're in the 305 Miami, my city. Beautiful lights, beautiful town, an amazing car that I'd like to just give you my take on. Oh, did I just say Tycon or take on? Same thing. Well, here's the thing. This car is in between the old world and the new. It's bridging a gap. It's not only just bridging a gap between cars and technology, it's also bridging a gap for a company. You see, in my lifetime, Porsche has reinvented itself, as far as I can tell, three times. First, it was a sports car company, then it was an SUV company, and now, in a matter of, let's say, five or six years, Porsche is gonna merge into a technology company. Porsche is investing $18 billion. Yes, $18 billion in the next five years in technology and electrification. And that's where you need to understand that this is a company on the move. In a matter of 10 years, I would say, we're gonna look back on Porsche just like we, we look back on Apple. Apple is a technology company. It's not an iPod company. It's not an iPhone company. It's a technology company. That's where Porsche is headed to. And just like it always innovates, Porsche is pushing the envelope. And instead of copying the others and going to a 400 volt system, they, they decided they wanted repeatability. They wanted to be able to extract as much performance out of their EV than they could. And how would they do that? Through an 800 volt charging system. The 800 volt charging system allows you to charge way faster. It sends cooling and heating to the right places in the car. It's really, really trick how they do that. And one of the advantages downstream is that they're going to be able to catch up in terms of infrastructure and give you much faster charging and much more efficient charging. After all, Time is money. I think there's gonna come a time in the very near future where we're gonna see way more chargers than we have now. At the time, I think the perfect way of using an EV is to plug it in at home overnight. I've even put it to the point where I have, it, I have a charger outside the house. I come in, we park, we charge it overnight. Before you know it, you come back and it's full and we do it once a week. No more trips to the gas station, no worrying about having to do any maintenance work whatsoever to the car. It's hassle-free. And did I tell you, it's a hell of a performance car. Zero to 16, about three seconds, maybe a tad less. 670 horsepower. It is ballistic. The one thing about this car is that it drives like a Porsche. It goes like a Porsche and it looks like a Porsche. 2015, when they announced the Mission E concept, I just fell backwards on my seat when I saw that Mission E concept. And that's one of the reasons why we got it in white and we have it with our sport package where it's got wider front stands. I just think it's super, super cool. I got the Mission E wheels. It delivers on the promise that they set forth when they announced the car originally. And where this Porsche Taycan stands out the most is its repeatability. No matter whether you have 80% charge or 10% charge, it's going to go full tilt until it's got nothing left in the tank. Let's talk for a second about styling. No matter how you feel about this car, you can't deny that it has the Porsche DNA. And although this car marks a complete shift in the family tree of Porsche, it is instantly recognizable as a Porsche and it is 100% a driver's car. Now, what about reliability? What about build quality? And what, how has the car been after 2,000 miles? Other than a few software glitches, it's a great, great car. It's been very, very reliable. We've only had to do one update and Porsche took care of it. Not a big deal. And I'm sure that they're, they're gonna work out the kinks on the, the few remaining things that they have and it'll be just as reliable as any other Porsche. They stand behind their product, period. So we've been shooting this video for the past couple of nights and I've got both cameramen that are blown away every time I step on this thing and send it into hyperdrive. And it, I can't help but think 
of that scene from the Millennium Falcon when Han Solo just sends, sends the ship into hyperspace. That's the, that's the feeling you get with this car. 100% of the torque is available the second you mash on that pedal and it just, just hold on for dear life and don't stop. <laughs> In a blink of an eye, you're at 100 miles an hour. It is insanely fast. The only thing that I just don't understand is how in the hell are these tires grabbing? I don't understand it. These have to be the best tires on this car that you can ever imagine. So let's sum it up. It's fast. It handles very well. The tires stick. It charges reasonably fast. What else is there not to like? I'm going to encourage all of you that are car nuts to give this car a chance. Give it the opportunity to impress you how it's impressed me. And I'm sure looking forward, you're going to want to have an EV as well. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, come on, hit that subscribe button. Send us a comment. Let us know how you feel about this.